In this video, I'm going to review the Bitdefender VPN. I'm going to test out the speeds, see which locations it has, and then test out any extra features that it has to offer. So let's get started. Now, before I start, I just want to say that I've included a link down in the description for the VPN. And with that link, you'll be able to check the price and you'll get any promotions or offers. So if you're planning on buying, you'll be able to get the best deal possible and the lowest price. So make sure you check that out first and let's get started with the video. Okay, so to start my Bitdefender VPN review, I'm going to be doing a speed test. And first off, I'm going to do it on my home connection. Then I'm going to connect to the VPN. I'm going to repeat the test and then compare the speeds and see how much speed we actually lose when we have the Bitdefender VPN enabled. So if I hit go, I'll get my home connection speed. Okay, so my speed test has completed. And as you can see, I've got 721 down, I've got 870 up, and I've got a ping of two. Now, if I connect to the Bitdefender VPN and then refresh speedtest.net, we can repeat the test and let's see what kind of speeds we get. Okay, so the speed test has completed with the Bitdefender VPN enabled. And as you can see, I've got 164 down and 127 up. So this is a major decrease in speed compared to my normal connection. Usually with a VPN, we're expecting about a 20 to 30% speed decrease with a good VPN that is. But in this case, we've got nearly 60 to 70%. The speeds still are reasonable. Of course, like 164 down, 127 up is like more than you'd ever need but it could definitely be a lot better, especially compared to some other VPNs. And if we look at our ping, it's only increased to eight, which is good for gaming. So this VPN could definitely be used for gaming without any issues, but we could definitely hope to see some better speeds. So next I wanna go through the locations that Bitdefender VPN offers. And in my opinion, this is pretty mediocre. They only have 53 locations to pick from. And of those, most of them only have one server other than Canada, the US and the UK, which have multiple cities and locations to pick from. So now I wanna go through some extra features that Bitdefender VPN has. And the first is a internet kill switch. What this does is it will basically suspend your internet connection if you're not connected to the VPN. So let's say you're connected and then one second your internet drops. Well, rather than reconnecting to the outside world, first it will block you and then make sure that you connect through the VPN and then onto the outside world. This protects you and keeps your data safe and prevents any IP leaks from happening. Next up, we have a ad blocker and anti-tracker. This just blocks ads like any normal ad blocker would do and stops those trackers from tracking you as you surf around the web. And finally, we have split tunneling. Split tunneling is a great feature, it allows you to segregate your browsers or software into having the VPN enabled and not having the VPN enabled. So let's say we have Firefox and Chrome and I wanna run Firefox with the VPN, but I wanna run Chrome without it. Well, with split tunneling, I could enable it on Firefox and disable it on Chrome and run them completely separately. So now I wanna answer some frequently asked questions when it comes to the Bitdefender VPN. The first is, can I use this VPN for Netflix streaming? And the answer is, is yes. As you can see here, I'm connected to a Canadian VPN right now and I've accessed Netflix with no issues. I'm not blocked at all and I can access all of the Canadian geo-blocked content that I couldn't access before. I also tested this with several other countries on the Bitdefender VPN and it all worked great for Netflix. The next question is, can I use this VPN for torrenting? And the answer is yes, it works great for torrenting and they even have an automatic connection setting. So when you're accessing peer-to-peer -peer apps and, and you're doing file sharing, you can actually automatically connect to the Bitdefender VPN to keep you extra safe. So next question is, is Bitdefender VPN safe? And the answer is yes. They use AES 256-bit encryption, which you will find amongst most other VPN services. And it's a perfectly uh, safe way and one of the strongest encryption methods they could use. So yes, the Bitdefender VPN is safe to use. So next question is, does Bitdefender VPN store logs? And the answer is yes, they do store logs. Although they claim it's encrypted, there's always a chance that someone could force their hand and they'd have to share that information with a third party. So I'd say avoid it for that reason. As soon as a VPN company stores any logs, I just prefer to go for a company that doesn't store logs and is in a privacy secure country. So for our final question is, is Bitdefender free? And the answer is no, they are not free. It is a premium of VPN and their starting price is $2.49 per month for a one year plan. And then you can go with a monthly plan at $6.99 per month. Now they do have a 30 day money back guarantee. So you can just try it for 30 days and then request a refund if you don't like their VPN. Uh, but their prices are very competitive with other VPN services on the market. 
So that sums up the video. I hope you enjoyed. As I said at the start of the video, I've included a link down in the description for the VPN and this will give you the best price possible and I'll make sure to include any coupons or discount codes that I find. So if you're new here, please hit that subscribe button and make sure that you leave a like on the video.